Courtney and welcome to my channel. I am Courtney and today I have my wonderful husband with me. Tell me your name, baby. Eddie. Eddie. That's it? That's it. All right. Short and sweet. Okay, so um, I first want to say welcome to my new subs, those that have recently subscribed and those that are thinking about subscribing. I thank you so much for subscribing and watching and liking and comment. And if you're always faithful to watch our videos, then thank you so much. We really, 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 really appreciate you guys. You are definitely the best. So today's subject is... What? Why is it that you don't know? Man, we man. talked about this. I know. Okay, so today's... I know. Marriage after divorce. Got it. No, <laughs> it's married oh. after divorce. divorce. Okay, I was close. I was close. I was close. Okay, so married after divorce. When I brought that topic up to him, he was like, huh, what? Yeah, that sounds a little strange, right? So I want to talk to first my divorcees, people that have been through a divorce that may be currently in a divorce, going through one, or have divorced and moved on. Um, so this topic is going to be interesting to say the least have you been through a divorce yeah i have yes yes i have and i have as well i've been through a divorce and we are married after divorce, divorce right. so you know that's where the topic comes from um how was your first marriage i mean was it a good marriage was it not so good marriage you know we're not going to go into details well, but you know make it short and sweet it was very toxic. Believe it or not, that very toxic. Yeah. So, did you see yourself get married again? No, 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 I did not. Uh, I said before I got married the first time, I was going to get married, but one time, and I, I wasn't planning on getting any divorces or anything. So, once I got my divorce, I had no plans of getting married again. No plans. I was going to be single all my life and it's like that was it I didn't want to go through the headache of getting married again and you know just didn't want to do it no more so that's that and yourself okay that answered my question <laughs> um so for me my first previous marriage first previous my previous marriage um, I was married for 20 years, as some of you may know by the prior videos, and <clears throat> I got married young, so um, it was a lot of stuff that, you know, just m learning myself, finding out who I was, and so forth and so on, um, I would say that, yes, the marriage, my first marriage was very, very, very toxic, yes, and um, it was not a healthy one, it, it really and truly was not and so it took 20 years for me to realize that <laughs> so it didn't take you that long no that no it did not yeah no. so you know um i'm grateful that i saw the light and eventually um i filed for divorce and after divorce I think that's when I really and truly, it was like, oh my gosh. So let me ask you a question then. After you got your divorce, what did you do after that? You just have time to heal? Or did you just like, you know, I'm going to just take time to myself, focus on myself, and just, just do things for yourself. So what did you do after that? you got a divorce? What did I do after my divorce? After I filed for divorce, first of all, I was, I had been with this person since I was 16. So trying to survive or just know what it's like to actually be in a world where, you know, you just kind of live in a single life at the age of 39, it was really and truly challenging for me, to say the least. Um, I initially said like, um, I'm 39 years old. Who is gonna want me? That was my initial thing. Like, who is gonna date me? I'm like, oh, you know, in my head, you know, um, 
because I guess in my mind, dating stopped when I was a teenager. So like, you know, dating, I'm like too old, supposed to be married. Like who really dates at my age? Well, come to find out a lot of people, but you know, so that was initial initially. And so for me, I had to go through a lot of healing. Um, I had to go through a healing process and I didn't want to date. I didn't want to, I didn't know how to date. I didn't know how to do nothing that pertains to another person, the opposite sex. It was like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And so um, it was a little challenging for me. Okay. Intriguing. Very much so. That process that they say grieving process. You got to go through your emotional battles of um, being mad, being um, emotional, just crying, being depressed. You know, at times you're happy, you're excited. Then it's like, what else I'm going to do? So it, it was that that emotional balance for me of going up and down, up and down. And so that's, you know, kind of like what I went through. I know everybody has a grieving period after they get divorced. And you know, some people grieve different from the, than other people. You yeah. grieve that way. I may have grieved a different way. I may have, I may have just used dating women to get over my grieving. You know, just get my mind preoccupied. All right. So, but yeah, it took a you know it took a while to you know to kind of recoup and you know kind of focus on things. You know, but eventually I got over it. But even though I got over it, I still wasn't planning on getting married. So how, long, how long did it take you to get over it? Um, about six, about five, six months. Yeah. And yeah, you really get over it, get over it. Mine was about 10 months. But what we're trying to get at is this. Even though you get a divorce, you can still pick up the pieces and move on. Oh, yeah. Move on with your life. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, me, I was... I had the wrong thought process. I was thinking, well, I'm not doing that no more. I'm not getting married no more. It's not even worth it. So that's that's the wrong way to do them things. Um, everybody process is different. You know, as long as you go through your grieving, your um, healing process, then I think that's most important. You may grieve two months. You may grieve a year. As long as you get it out, but just know that you can get married again move on after divorce. When you're going through that divorce, um, you have to find activities and things to keep you mentally busy. Because if not, you're gonna sit somewhere and just go through and just go through. You know, you too, if you desire, can get married after divorce, don't let the devil tell you like he told me in the beginning, nobody wants you. Who's going to date you? You're too old. Do people still do this? Yada, yada, yada. The, the, the list goes on and on. You know, work on you. Make yourself beautiful for you. You know, um, when I went through my divorce, I went and changed my hair color. I just did something so radical for me because I wanted to make sure I loved me and took care of me. And so I wanted to make sure that I was loving on myself that I can definitely be prepared to love on my husband, my future husband, my next, you know, husband, which is this guy, you know, so he's reaping the benefits of my healing process. Wow, that is so deep. So he's reaping the benefits of my healing process because I said, God, this marriage, my second marriage, and this is way before I met him years. Um, I said, I'm going to have so much love to give because I didn't in my first, I didn't love myself, didn't know how to properly love. And when God took me through my healing process, then I began to love me, learn me, know what I wanted, what I did not want, what I, what, what I would accept from a guy and what I wouldn't accept. And so once I learned all of that and began to put it on the inside of me and have a balance, and then I was like, God, you know what? When you send him, I'm going to really know how to love this man. I'm going to know how to treat him. I'm going to know how to respect him and talk to him. I am just really, truly just going to love on this man. And is that what's happening? Yeah, that's what's happening. Uh, you know, I think I am reaping the benefits of you healing yourself. 
okay? I didn't per se heal myself like you did, but me being me, I knew I was a good man. So it was really not, I already loved myself. That's one thing you have to do. You have to love yourself. I said this once before. Love yourself before you love somebody else, okay? And because you got a divorce, doesn't mean that everything was your, was your fault in the marriage. Uh, you know, so don't take the whole blame for it. And just like I said, love yourself, regroup, regroup, recoup yourself, heal yourself, learn from your mistakes from your previous marriage, mm -hmm. and don't bring that mistake to the new marriage. And, uh, and you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. So yeah. that's all I had to say. You know, I let the queen finish saying what she got to say before we end this video. I hope you guys, I think that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys got some little nuggets and things on our perspective. This is just our opinion. This is just our story. The things that we went through that personally worked for us. Not saying that everything is going to work for you. Um, you may have to experience it your own journey, your own way. But I just wanted to encourage you and let you know that you can get married after divorce. It's possible. It's definitely possible. You know, um, wait on God. Key. Because key. you can get married to anybody, I'm sure, right about now, you know. But the key is, with that second marriage, last, would it work? Would it be beneficial? You know, would it be God? Well, I intercept real quick. Yeah. You made a key statement right there. I forgot to say that. Let God pick your mate. You don't pick your mate. You can pick the wrong person, and it's not the person God wants you to be with. Okay, uh, yeah, it can look good on the outside, and you got, but maybe that's not the person God wants you to be with. And when you do get with that person, it's gonna fall apart. So be patient. Wait for God to send somebody in your life. He will, and you know, do what you got to do. Until that time, you know, heal yourself, live a life, and have fun. Can you share this part with you? And we're gonna end this video. Um, Something that you shared with me off camera is that you felt like because of your past and you had a very, what's, what's the word I want to use? Um, Singlish past. If you know what I mean, you felt like you that God wouldn't send you somebody because you didn't deserve somebody yeah. that you, would treat you good. Yeah, well. <laughs> I just thought, I thought, you know, from my past sins that I wasn't going to get blessed with somebody special in my life. So I, I, I kind of accepted that and figured, you know, I'm not going to get married. I'm going to be single all my life. I'm going to die alone because, you know, how I used to be in the past. But, you know, I prayed, asked for, for forgiveness. You know, try to walk the right path as best as I can. And, uh, and lo and behold, here we are. So, like two peas in a pod. So, like Jerry Curl and Wave Cap. Mm -hmm. oh, I didn't go like in that part. Of it. I mean, wave, wave in the Wave Cap. Jerry Curl and Cap. Jerry Curl and Shower Cap. So, on that note, Again, I hope that um, you learned from us and um, just gave you some nuggets that can help you during your process of, you know, going through a divorce, wanting to be married, or just even being single. You know, maybe you've never been married and you just, you know, in your single stage, you know, I could just say, be patient, wait on God, and it's going to happen. As they always used to tell me, because I was like, when is he coming? I, they said, Courtney, he's coming when you least expect it. And... That is definitely true. So, you know, you will have to go back on the previous videos and I try to put it right here where you can see how we met and um, how that process went. So it definitely truly, it was not for me. So on that note, oh, time to get out of here. That's right. 
All right, it's time for us to go. So again, thank you so much for watching this video in its entirety. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell. I think I am out of here. Don't forget to go with God and let God go with you. And I'm out of here. What about you, baby? Deuces. Deuces. Hi, thanks for watching. I am Courtney. Please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe and share this video. I will see you next time. Bye. Have a great one.